Hey guys, it's Ace from the Install Bay. We're going to show you a little trick to see if your factory tweeter has a base blocker on it. So stay tuned. So anytime you're upgrading your radio and bypassing some form of a factory amplifier or adding a hedge unit or whatever it may be, and there's a factory tweeter involved, it may or may not, depending on how the factory did it, it may or may not have a crossover on it. So for example, if you're taking out a factory amplifier and the tweeter was on its own channel, it may or may not have been actively crossed over from the amplifier. This is something you need to know if you're going to re-amplify that factory tweeter. Now if you're replacing the tweeter, no big deal, you're going to have a crossover that comes with the new tweeter. But if you're not, you need to know if that factory tweeter has a crossover. We're going to show you how to test for that. So let's take it over to the bench. First thing you're going to need is one of these. This is a 9 volt battery. And though for most things in life this is pretty archaic and you don't use it anymore, for 12 volts it's a very handy thing to have. For one, it basically is what powers every volt ohm meter on the planet. Two, it makes a great speaker tester because it's enough voltage but a really low amperage to move a speaker. And in this case, this is what we want. Now, when you have a tweeter and you hook it up to the battery, it's going to do this. Which is fine. That means that this tweeter has no form of base blockage or crossover or anything like that on it. It's basically two wires soldered onto the tweeter and you're hearing the diaphragm move. If it has a capacitor on it, it's going to act a little differently. So for that, we'll add a capacitor. Now I keep saying capacitor or base blocker. It's the same thing. Uh, it's just personal preference. Some people know them caps, some people capacitors, some people base blockers. It's the same name for the same product. So now what we want to do is repeat the process. If you notice, you just heard that one tick. Now if you flip positive and negative from the battery on the wires, you hear the tick again. If you flip the battery again, but you'll notice if I keep tapping it, it's not going to keep making that tick sound. That was actually the discharge. So we'll go like this, then we'll go here, and it discharges. This is going to tell us if that factory tweeter has any form of base blocker in line. So if you're going to do that amplifier bypass and you run your tone generator through it, it sounds no different. So that's where popping the speaker with the 9 volt will let you know if it has any form of bass blockage. So that's it. That's one more little secret. Just keep a 9 volt laying around, you know. They're very handy, very helpful to have in the 12 volt world. They do all kinds of neat stuff. And in this case, they'll save you from having to buy new tweeters right away because you didn't put a bass blocker on it and you just launched them out of the dash. Fun. Alright guys, you know where to find us? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Facebook Live, Monday night, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Otherwise, go ahead and ask questions, whatever you like, down below in the comments, and we'll get back to you. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.